Good morning, folks. We're watching the active region depart the Earth facing half of the sun. We've got weather and some great science news topics today. So let's start at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star was relatively quiet. Small coronal holes are gracing the Earth facing longitudes. The departing active region presents a number of plasma filaments dancing around the corona beside it. And while there was no explosive activity, we did have slow moving stealth CMEs erupt from both limbs of the sun there. Of course, here at Earth, we did get the CME shockwave. It was modest at best, really a weak event that arrived late and has barely nudged the KP index up from its low levels. We have not seen a solid coronal hole stream add to that geomagnetic pressure yet. There should be at least one on the way, but it is also not expected to be anything major. Folks, the hail came down in the center of the country yesterday. Reports of this and even tornadoes span from Texas to Missouri, and in addition to the large size hailstones, the storms produced a number of flash flood events in short order, proving to be quite damaging to property as dozens of cars are somewhere between badly damaged and totaled. Another bad situation is happening in Iran. Their deluge was rain only, and much of it didn't even fall there, but flowed in. Flood events really taking off worldwide since a die inundated southern Africa last week. First on the science news docket today is a fun read about how fossils in China are inflating the view of extinct life on this planet, broadening the explosion of life in the Cambrian period, and generally increasing the number of species that have appeared and disappeared on this planet. There's a very interesting but very, very long paper out on dynamo theories. It took nearly two full days to get through this one, but it was worth it. Paper is free to read on archive at the link posted below. Open Journal of Earthquake Research has a number of noteworthy publications the last few months. First one measuring tonality of dog vocal sounds and noticing a correlation of change to pre-seismic activity. That'll be one of the thousands of ways animals can signal disaster coming from below. There are also two papers on seasonality and patterns in deep rumbles, aka blood echoes. This could be tremendous if it can be included in the model because one of the top needs for seismic forecasting right now is a way to discount blood echoes that are not signals of more to come. Perhaps seasonal expectations can tell us where ones are not expected. Last but not least, folks, a very creative piece on Irish megalithic petroglyphs interprets them to be symbolizing the path of the sun through the sky throughout the year and the changes in the seasons. It is creative, but... They had other ways of showing that. Their spirals were exceptionally less detailed pictures than some of their other works. And besides, there is another workable option published already. And it comes from Dr. Anthony Peratt at Los Alamos. Free link to his paper on electric current and cosmic plasma can be found below this video as well. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Website members, your weekly Fly on the Wall podcast is posted under the premium section at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.